Hello everyone this is Rohit Shankar Mane and we know that we have started bio fertilizers lecture series now this is lecture number 3 and here we are going to understand production of bio fertilizers at small scale let's see introduction now see isolated bacterial cultures were subcultured into nutrient broth now see first that is whatever uh, culture is there that culture we have to subculture into nutrient broth then that nutrient broth we have to keep on the shaker at 30 Plus to minus degree Celsius. The culture incubated until it reaches maximum cell population around 10 days to 10 to 10 days to 11 micro. See here, whatever the incubation is going to happen, that incubation we have to incubate up to the cell maximum cell population that is 10 days to 10 and 10 days to 11. Under optimum condition, this population level could be attained within four to five days. For Isobium, five to seven days, and for Azospirulum. and 6 to 7 days for azotobacter now see this this much maximum population cell population 10 to 10 tends to 11 will be achieved within 4 to 5 days for the rhizobium 5 to 7 days for azospirulum and 6 to 7 days for the azotobacter so according to that we have to incubate the culture obtained in the flask is called as a starter culture now this is very important starter culture means what the culture obtained in the flask is known as starter culture For large scale production, inoculum from the starter culture is transferred into the large flask or fermenter and grown until required level of cell count is reached. Now see how we can do production. First point is the prepare appropriate media for specific to bacterial level. Inoculum in required a quantity. Now here first we have to prepare a media which is specific or any general media. In that media we have to inoculate a bacterial culture. inoculated with specific bacterial strain for aseptic condition and whatever we are going to do inoculation that we have to do under aseptic condition then we have to incubate at 30 uh, plus 2 minus degree celsius for 5 to 7 days in rotary shaker now see this incubation is totally depends on the bio fertilizers types after that observe growth of bio uh, culture and estimate the population that is starter culture after incubation or during incubation we have to observe the growth of that specific microorganism the above uh, media is prepared in large quantities in fermenter then for the uh, large scale production we have to prepare again media in a large quantity let's see then sterilized and cooled well then this media should uh, be sterilized and should be cooled well then media in fermenter is inoculated with the lag sorry log phase of culture the water large scale media is prepared in that we have to add lag uh, sorry log phase of culture why log phase of culture because log phase of culture is very active and it is grown well with different types of enzymatic activities grown in large flask usually 1 to 2% of inoculum is sufficient now we have to grow that all culture uh, in the broth or in the media in a large flask cells are grown in a fermenter by providing aeration and continuous stirring during that incubation or during that um, production period we have to provide the aeration and continuous stirring and we can do this aeration and continuous stirring in the fermenter only broth is checked for the population of inoculated organism now during this in during that incubation period we have to check the growth of microorganisms or their specific organism cells are harvested with population load around 10 days to 9 cells per ml then whatever the cells are harvested that cell harvesting cells have to be 10 days to 9 cells per ml this is all about the production of bio fertilizers in this way we can do the production of bio fertilizers at small scale and at a large scale thanks a lot